Hello all, and welcome to another post-work beer review. Why am I starting to do beer reviews after work? Well, because of insomnia, mostly. Now, this doesn't help me fall asleep, but it does assuage the stress of not being able to fall asleep. Um, a little bit, as well as the stress from the day and various other things. Beer's my coping mechanism. Not exactly the healthiest one. But it's one. <laughs> so this one was given to me by my father. He wanted me to review it. I, I reviewed it a few years back. I haven't really had it much since then. And I think the main reason why being, you know, I, I kind of have a bit of a reaction to Lagunitas hops. And, well, whatever. They use a lot of hops. So this one's a wheat ale. So 50% of the malt in this is a wheat and the hops used are, and I'm going to go to another website here just to read it off, Willamette, Santium, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, and Columbus hops. So yeah, pretty hoppy. And looking at the date on this one, it's 4-18-23. So this is hella fresh. So it's probably going to be full of very bright flavors. The unfortunate thing being that I'm having pretty bad allergies just from all the blooming flowers right now. But nasal cavities are still clear as you can see. You can still breathe through the nose. That's the most important thing. And that can still taste, too. So, let me do just a quick test, test here. This is... Yep, I can still smell. It's tobacco. I'm just doing that to go and prove that I can still smell. So, let's go and read the label now, shall we? I don't know how you say it. Je ne sais, je ne sais huh? It's right up on the tip of my tongue. It's just, it just has that thing. You know? So yeah. Wheat IPA, I guess. And that's 7.5 ABV. I'm choosing to put it into this glass just because I want to concentrate the smells a little bit more than in the regular glass. So, a nice golden color, slight tint of orange to it, with a fluffy white head. Mm. You got some citrus, you got some dank, you got some pine needles. You also got some touches of tropical fruit there, too. But I definitely say it leans more towards the traditional West Coast style um, IPA nose there. With that dankness and citrus. It just also has a certain sweetness to the malts as well. Sort of like a passion fruit and cantaloupe. But yeah, also a hint of ozone. I don't know, I'm the only person who describes like IPAs as having a, like an ozone note to it, but it just does to me. It's my weird nasal palate, I guess. <laughs> okay, on to the palate. Hmm. been a while since I've had, um, you know, a West Coast style IPA. That bitterness was a bit shocking up front. Very thick and smooth body. A 
a long hot bitterness in the finish. It also has a just a slight top note of tropical fruits as well in that long finish. And a bracing bitterness up front. That continues throughout, including the mids, and declines in the finish. Hmm. Fifty two IBU, one point zero six nine original gravity. Oh, I forgot, yeah, they always have the this. Um, long text here. This special IPA is its own unique breed. An indescribable, imbibable, the sly touch of wheat places it somewhere between puffy little clouds and smoothest silk gown. It tastes rich with hop but finishes dry. Yes it does. Its mention causes an involuntary revolution. Um, no, involuntary reaction. Something is simply Pavlovian. The taste tells. So yeah, that text is really small, slightly blurry. You know, green on silver. So, kind of hard to read. You don't really get much of the taste of wheat, you know, the wheat malts in this beer, just due to the fact that it is so hop forward. But you do get quite a lot of the um, is it tactile feel, you know, that um, feel in your mouth of wheat. So the thickness of it really leads me to say it's like bready to biscuity, but at the same time you can't really um, distinguish like that wheaten funk that you do in less hopped, less hopped wheat beer, wheat beers. But overall, pretty pleasant. Um, I'm not catching too much of the fine nuances in the top notes. I am having a little bit of, um, you know, congestion building up. But overall, despite being so hot forward, including that bitterness, it's well balanced by that heaviness in the body. Yeah, I, I would say I would pick up another sixer of this. This this does go and definitely hit a spot I haven't had for a while in regards to West Coast style IPAs. I guess because it's not so tongue scorchingly bitter, the body really balances it out. But we'll see if I kind of have a headache tomorrow. 
I'm only going to drink this one beer, so it'll be a good test. To see if it's truly the hops, you know, that cause it. That said, I don't really have a whole bunch of congestion building up. My nose isn't running like a faucet yet, so I don't think it's like really concentrated with whatever type of hops that gives me that issue. But yeah, I'd like to thank my father again for donating this can for review. It's a um, pretty good beer. I think he actually really liked this one. Uh, and I think this one is one of those ones that's right up his alley. Um, again, you do have to like the classic West Coast style IPAs. This is going to be hella hazy to someone who is hella bitter to someone who is a hazy bro. And, um, yeah, definitely give this one a shot. And that, folks, is your beer review for this pretty late night, actually. 10.45 right now. Cheers.